The Iranian president has warned the U.S. and Israel against separating the occupied Golan Heights from Syria, saying that any such attempt will be doomed to fail. You saw their brutalities toward Al-Quds. You recently saw that they granted the seized land to the aggressor. This will never come true. Neither Al-Quds will ever become the capital of aggressor, nor Golan be separated from Syria. Hassan Rouhani also described Israel as a regional cancer. Late last month, the U.S. president formally recognized Israel's sovereignty over the occupied Golan Heights. That move triggered a global outcry. The EU says it will never recognize Israel's sovereignty over the strategic plateau. The United Nations also called for maintaining Syria's territorial integrity. Israel sees much of the Golan Heights from Syria in 1967 and effectively annexed it in 1981. Now let's discuss that issue. We'll have uh, Alexander Mercurius, editor-in-chief of the Duran.com from London, and also Michael Springman, who's a former U.S. diplomat joining us out of Washington, D.C. Good to see you, both gentlemen. Uh, starting with London first, uh, Alexander, the whole world uh, has uh, actually said that uh, Golan Heights are considered actually continue to be considered as occupied land. Even the U.S. Uh, uh, staunch allies like the U.K. and France have also mm -hmm. accepted mm -hmm. that. It's only Mr. Trump's administration that's according recognition to that plateau and not regarding it as uh, occupied land. Why is that? Well, because I think people look at the situation in the Middle East and they say to themselves, firstly, what Mr. Donald Trump has done is contrary to international law because this territory was taken by force by Israel in 1967. It has always been accepted and has been repeatedly said in uh, many international fora, including the United Nations, that it is occupied Syrian territory. There was always supposed to be an understanding that it will be returned to Syria as part of a comprehensive peace initiative. And the concern is, this is contrary to international law, and it makes peace between the Arabs and Israel all but impossible, because it takes away one crucial element of that peace, which is the return of this Arab territory to the country which, under international law, it belongs to, which is Syria. Right. Let's go to Washington, D.C. Michael uh, Springman, uh, do you also agree, uh, uh, I'm talking about the ramifications of this U.S. decision, that the uh, peace process will be really even more sophisticated than it uh, already was in this part of the world? Well, it's certainly more complicated, and it's because Israel refuses to accept any controls on its expansion. It refuses to accept any um, aspect of international law, and it refuses to uh, respect opinions... Uh, from the outside world except its own. Uh, Donald Trump is under total under the control of the Zionists, and uh, this is something he has given them, and uh, he has not gotten anything back for it except perhaps uh, uh, his connections uh, to uh, officials who were once in the, the Trump administration who are now part of Genie Energy, uh, which is uh, going to be drilling for oil in the Golan Heights. So it's a great deal for the Israelis, and it's a great deal for the crooked members or the former crooked members of the Trump administration. Uh, the idea is that the uh, boundaries of international states, if you can call Israel a state, uh, is, are set by international agreement and by diplomatic negotiation, which is something Israel flatly refuses to do because it much prefers apartheid and arrogance and the uh, control of the occupied Palestine. No, uh all right, Shalom Yasharala, which is Israel. Call Hello Lai Yahweh by Hashem which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people call God by Hashem, is in the name of Yahweh, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people ignorantly call Jesus Christ. Those are the true names of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Plus, I uh, want to give a shout out to the Akim that's pushing this word and, uh, Uplifting the name of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, and to the confusion of faces whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you do, or you may look like one of the heathen nations you're scattered amongst. Same if your sea line goes back to uh one of these tribes through the man, 
And if his spirit bear witness with this word and his truth, and you can receive it to you confusing the faces, though you may look a little different, you are Israelites. To the few aqua, which is you sisters that do listen and learn Shalom, to the elect of the nation of Israel, who this word is going out to throughout the four corners of the earth, Shalom to you. To you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, okay? That is your true nationality. Not the bywords that you see on the right side, okay? And, um, uh, you see what the video says. Basically, President Rahuni, uh, Israel says that the land of Israel and the state and the people that's in, in there, okay, is a regional cancer, okay? And this is more proof that those people who claim to be the, uh, the Jews, which they're not, okay, I've done plenty of videos, but I'm going to expose them on every angle, okay? Aren't the real Jews, okay? They don't fit any of the uh, scriptures, okay? When it comes to who the identity of the so, uh, the real, you know, Jews are, okay? But I'm going to uh, get my first scripture. This is, uh... Zechariah, I'm going to start with this, Zechariah 9 and 6, and a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, and I will cut off the pride of the Philistines, okay, so if you look on the map where Ashdod be at, if you look that up, it's near what you know as Tel Aviv, okay, the, city, uh, the Tel Aviv in Israel. Okay, with these fake Jews, okay, dwell, okay? So it's talking about them. Let's get that definition of bastard, okay? And here it is. This is the definition of bastard. If you look it up on the uh, et uh, etymology online. Illegitimate child, okay? An illegitimate, not legit, illegitimate, okay? And if you go down... To the top, it says, as an adjective from late 14C, it is used of things, uh, spirits, or not genuine, okay? Having the appearance of being genuine. And that's what the so, okay? Of abnormal or irregular shape or size, okay? And that's what these so-called Jews today in the land of Israel, okay? Which they Edomites, they're the uh, Amalekites, the tribe, the head tribe of the house of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, okay? They're the uh uh they're not the real Jews, man. Okay, they're illegitimate. Okay, and everything that they're doing right now is proving that they're not the children of Israel, the real children of Israel. Okay, so this is Revelations. Two and nine. I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, and they aren't in poverty. Okay, they run literally this whole entire planet. Okay, they're running everything. They're running the show right now. That's why all the conflict around the earth is centered around these Edomites. Okay. Uh, but thou art rich, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but the synagogue of Satan. Okay, that's really what you are. That's why Proverbs 29 and 2. One, first of all, Job 9 24, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. Proverbs 29 and 2. The earth, uh, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Everybody's in the mourning state. Everybody's pissed off. Okay? Everybody's confused. Why? Because the wicked are in authority. Okay? Starting with these, these Amalekites, these so-called Jewish people. Okay? And here's how they got, okay? This is uh on the history. And you're going back to 1948, how they got in there in the first place, okay? 
This is, uh, let me see. I'm just going to get, get straight to the point. Okay. So this is the 1948 Arab Arab Israeli, which Israeli they call that's what the, the so-called Jews now call themselves. Okay? They call themselves Israelis. They don't call themselves Israelites. Because they know they're not the real Israelites. Immediately following the, the declaration of the new state, both superpower leaders, US President Harry S. Truman and Soviet leader Joseph Stalin recognized the new state. Okay, so they just automatically declared it a state, basically. The Arab League members, Egypt, Transjordan, Syria, Lebanon, and Iraq, refused to accept the UN partition plan, proclaimed the right of self-determination for the Arabs across the whole land of Palestine. The Arab state marched their forces to what had until what had until the previous day been the British mandate for Palestine starting for the first Arab Israeli war. The Arab states had uh, heavily military uh, equipment at their disposal were initially on the offensive. The Jewish forces were not a state before fifth, the 15th of May and could not buy heavy arms. On, 29, on May 29, 1948, the British initiated United Nations Security Council Resolution 50, declaring an arms embargo on the region. Uh, says Slavic, Slavica. Violated the resolution supplying the Jewish state with critical military hardware to match the uh, mainly British heavy uh, equipment and planes already owned by invading Arab states on June 11th. A month long UN truce was put into effect following independence that uh, Haganah became the Israeli Israel Defense Forces. The Paul Mac, Etzel, and Lehigh were required to cease independent operations and join the IDFs. During the ceasefire, Etzel attempted to bring in a private arms shipment aboard a ship called Otelina. When they refused to hand the arms to the government, Ben Gurion ordered that the ship be sunk. Several Etzel members were killed in the fighting. Large numbers of Jewish immigrants, many of them World War II veterans and Holocaust survivors, now began arriving in the new state of Israel and many joined the ID. Okay? So they brought themselves in there, okay? That's just a short snippet, okay? And that's, uh... This is Ezekiel. Uh, 31, verse... 36, verse 1. Although thou son of man pops down to the mountains of Israel, and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh, because the enemy has said against you, and these Amalekites... Hold on. This is uh what it says, cause Amalek, okay. If you go in Psalms, the uh the eighty third chapter goes into all the enemies, enemies, and uh Edom and Amalek is there, okay. This is what it says. This is Deuteronomy twenty five verse seventeen. Remember what Amalek did unto thee by the way when ye were come forth out of Egypt, how he met thee by the way and smote the hindmost of thee, even all that were feeble behind thee when thou was faint and weary, and he feared not Yahweh, okay. And he goes in on it, okay? So that's why he's going to blot out the members of them. But I was getting that point to show that they're the enemy, okay? This is uh, Ezekiel 36 and 1. Let me start the first verse again. Also thou son of man prophesy unto the mountains of Israel and say, ye mountains of Israel, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because the enemy has said against you, aha, even the ancient High places are ours in our possession. What's the main ancient, uh, ancient high place of ours? The land of Israel, which they're in today, claiming to be our people, to be, to be us, okay? And claiming that that's their land, man, okay? When it's not, okay? Well, that's why Micah 2 and uh, the, uh, the second chapter says, Woe well, unto them that cover fields, okay? And let me just get it. And then I'm going to come back. It just came to my mind. just had to get it. Okay. 
Micah 2 and 1 wrote to them that the vice iniquity work evil upon the base when the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of the hand. And they cover fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away so they oppress a man and his house and even a man and his heritage. And that's what they've done. Okay? These so-called Jews, okay, they were uh, behind trying to uh, make sure that our people didn't find out um, who they were. And now it's coming out. Okay? Now they're in panic mode. Thus said, the, let me read again. Ezekiel 36 and 2. Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because the enemy have said against you, Aha! Even the ancient high places are ours in our possession. Therefore, prophesy and say, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, because they have made you desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be in possession onto the residue of the heathen. You are taken up in the lips of talkers and in infamy of the people. And here in America, our people are by words. They looked at as on, they're on the bottom. They looked up as, as nobody because Esau made this world believe that we're nobodies, okay? That we uh, have no purpose here, okay? So we're in infamy, okay? That ain't fitting them so-called Jews, even though the world is coming up against them, okay? This is Micah, the fourth chapter, and um, the fourth verse. But in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountains of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted above the hills, and people shall flow onto it. And many nations shall come and say, let us go up to the mountains of the Lord and to the house of your, the God of Jacob, which is you, you, uh, Jacob is you tribes right here. Okay. The seed of Jacob. Um, and many nations shall come and come and let us go up to the mountains of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us his ways and we will walk in his paths for the Lord shall go forth out of forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. That's not happening. Okay? For one, that's a cut. And one cut, these nations are not uh trying to flow onto the land of Israel. These nations hate right now what the, the uh those so-called the fake the Edomites in there, they want to destroy the land of Israel, which is prophecy. They are going to destroy the land of Israel. Okay? And and and, and the laws of the Lord, okay? It's, it's not being uh 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 pushed forth, man. Okay. You this this the laws of Yahweh Bashim al Shah is not being pushed forth in the society right now with this man in rulership. Okay. This this man has literally turned and flipped all the laws of 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 Yahweh Bashim al Shah. Okay. That's not that's another thing that's not happening. They're pushing homosexuality. They're teaching kids that they could, that they could, uh, kids in, 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 in preschool, basically, that they could, a boy could be a girl if he wants to, and a girl could be a boy if he wants to, okay? That a lot of the, uh, animals, the sea life, animals in general, insects, they're dying off at mass amounts. They're not keeping the land savage. They're not doing nothing, okay? This is what's happening. This is why the Lord said, uh, said this. Okay, they're just pushing death. They're not pushing the laws of Yahweh by Shemel Shah. Okay? To Isaiah 24 and 4, the earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is the fire under the inhabitants thereof. And who is the earth giving it to the hand? Of the wicked. Okay? Because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. That's what they're doing right now. Okay? That's why everything's out of whack. Okay? Everything's out of whack because of that. Okay? So that's another cut. So going back to Micah 4 and um, 2. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords and the plowshares and their spears and brewing hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war anymore. So let me ask you this. If that's happened, right? Little real Jews, right? Why are these nations not beating their uh, weapons? These nations are making, okay, which is according to Yahweh Bashim al Shah, is the will of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. They're making nuclear missiles that they're going to shoot at this place. They're, they have, okay, they're buying 
high quality f- uh, f- fighter jets. They're having Russia's buying submarines, everything that's going to uh going to World War Three. That's what you're seeing happen now. That's not happening. These nations are not putting those those things away. They're making them because they're getting ready to use them. So that's another cut. And they're about to go to war. World War Three is uh, uh, uh about to go off, man. Especially with the things going on in Venezuela. They still not letting up off that, okay? But they shall sit every man under his vine, under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid. For the mouth of the Lord of hosts has spoken. And Israel's afraid right now. One, because his word is going out, you're being exposed, okay? And two, these nations, okay, are, are ganging up, okay? The earth is rising up against you, you Edomites, you so-called white people, starting with you Amalekites, okay? Everybody's on to you. Catching on to what's going on, man. Okay? And now everybody wants to come after you. Look what's going on in Africa. Okay? This they 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 trying to kick you out and they're slaying you, man. Okay? Europe. The whole M uh uh migration thing with these these uh these foreigners that you eat much don't like, man. You ain't safe. That's another cut. This whole chapter right here cuts you, okay? Uh, for all people will walk, everyone in the name of his power, and we will walk in the name of the Lord, our power forever and ever. And that they said the Lord, will I assemble her that halteth, and I will gather her that is driven out, and that I have afflicted. You haven't been afflicted. You haven't been driven out of your homeland. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans were via transatlantic slave trade, man. Okay? To prove that, Joel, uh, the third chapter. Uh, this is Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people and have given them boyfriend harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Okay, and that's what you've done. Just watch the movie Goodbye Uncle Tom, man. Okay, that's a that's a real graphic, but it's a real factual movie. Okay, it ties in with the scriptures. Okay, yeah, what. Have you to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon? That's you, Hamites, you so-called Africans, and all the coast of Palestine, you Arabs, okay? Because you had helpers, okay, and putting us in, uh, and selling us off, okay? It wasn't just the Edomites, okay? They had the Arabs, the uh, the uh, uh, and the Hamites, and more, man. And if you recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own, upon your own head? Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have Carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem. Judah, the American blacks. Okay? The so-called blacks. Okay? And, and all the other tribes, man. Because the northern kingdom, okay, went into... Uh, the northern kingdom was consisted of Latinos and the native, so-called Native Americans and Seminole Indians as well. Okay? They went into captivity first. That's not being taught in the schools. They'll tell you in schools that the so-called Negroes just went into... Uh, Captivity via uh, slave ships. If you look up in 1492, okay, the uh, Northern Kingdom actually went into slavery, okay? Uh, let me see. Where did I leave off? The children also of Judah, this is the uh, Joel 3 and 6. The children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have he sold onto the Grecians. And who were the Grecians? Okay, they were the Edomites, the so called white men. That ye might remove them far from their border. And what was that? Our land. Okay? You sold us. Okay? You took us away from our land. Sold us and brought us where? To the Americas and scattered us. Actually, it wasn't just the Americas. Okay? We're everywhere. Okay? We're scattered amongst the nations. Okay? It was a worldwide thing. If you think of if it. Really, it was worldwide. It wasn't just here in the, uh, uh, to the west, man. We're everywhere. Israelites are everywhere. That's why you have confusion of faces. Okay. Um, so Micah 4 and 6. And that day said the Lord. I will assemble her that holds us. And will, I will gather her that is driven out. And, and her that I have afflicted. And I will make her that holds us a remnant. And her that was cast far off a strong nation. And our people aren't a strong nation right now. Our people okay, are under the curses. Okay. Every time our people gather is a fight amongst our people. Because that's the curses. Okay, Deuteronomy 28, verse 56. Every man's, if I'm not mistaken, every man's eye shall be evil toward his brother. That's what's happening. Okay, 
Our people aren't strong. All these heathens, look at our little so-called white man, okay, shooting our people down the streets. If we was a strong nation, he wouldn't be able to do that, okay? And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth even forever. And thou, O tower of the flock, the stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee it shall come even the first dominion. The kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem, okay? And that's the point, man. Actually, let me read to the 10th verse. Now why does thou cry aloud? Is there no king in thee? And thy counselor perish for pains have taken thee as a woman of travail. Be in pain, labor, labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman of travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field, and thou shalt go even to Babylon. And that's where we're in now. There, there shalt thou be delivered. Okay? You, you, here, we're in Babylon right now. Okay? We haven't been delivered yet. These so-called Jews, they just took it upon themselves, okay, just to go in the land of Israel and said they, they were delivered. The Lord ain't uh, uh, destroy this place and bring you into the land of Israel. Cut. But that's about to happen with the real uh, children of Israel, okay? There shall thou be delivered. There shall the Lord redeem thee from the hands of thy enemies. And we're still in the hands of our enemies, okay? Now, we're in the time now where that's about to flip. And that's why Esau is bugging out. Okay. And this is why. Okay. So that's it right there. I could have read the other part. It's really gonna be damaging, but uh, that's that's good enough. You know. Call her Lord, lie your heart by Shemel Okay. Shalom to the elect.